Hi everybody. Welcome to Girl Faison tonight. I'm Girl Faison, of course. And tonight, we have a very special episode for you. I was recently granted the opportunity to explore the secluded state of McConnell Land. I was able to meet their people and secured a very rare interview with their reclusive dictator, Matthew McConaughey. Let's watch. Oh, hello. I'm Gil Faison. Here we are in McConnell land. Uh, we're pulling into the embassy right now. Tomorrow we have an interview. Uh, we're gonna see what this country's all about. See if the hype is real. Well, we just pulled in. We've only been here about five minutes. Uh, security's tight, as you can see. Oh, so uh, we've been told we're allowed to walk around, observe the the people, and it's about all we're gonna do today. Tomorrow's where the real action is. We'll be able to interview the dictator, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, here we are at the embassy. This is where we'll be staying. Let's begin. Here we are in a government workshop. I've been given special permission to interview some of the workers. Let's, let's approach. This is a machinery workshop. This is where all of the machinery gets repaired and made. Sir, do you mind if we interview you? Yes, sir. What is your name? Citizen 8675309. Citizen 8675309? That's right. Citizen 8675309. 8675309. Nine. Why don't you have a seat right here? We'll, we'll have a little. Fun. So, citizen eight six seven five three zero nine, what are you working on here? I'm here to fix this machine. I'm not really sure what it does, but that's not my job. So they they don't tell you anything about what this is for, what it's used for, where it's going. No, I just tighten the bolts and fill it up with gas. So you don't know anything about this business? You don't know what all this is for? That you don't ever wonder? They don't tell you? No, I'm just here to tighten the bolts and fill it up with gas. So do you mind if I ask? How much are you being paid to do this? Uh, they don't pay me. This is my civil duty. Civil duty for who? Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey? Yeah, why wouldn't I want to serve my god? You say Matthew McConaughey's your god? Yeah, he provides for us, gives us food, keeps us safe. So there you have it. It's the day in the life of an average citizen. Laboring for no money, brainwashed by a ruthless dictator. McConaughey. Their god. It is truly a sad state of affairs in this country. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Praise Thank McConaughey. You. Praise McConaughey! So here we are walking the streets of suburban McConnell land. So far, I mean, everything looks kind of no. Oh no, this is sad. Sir, sir, are you all right? Was, uh... Sir, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Here we have one of the many homeless people in McConnell land. They lay on the streets, no food, no assistance. And they die out here. Not of natural causes, like hunger or thirst. But their guards slaughter them in the streets. I've been told I need to back up. This is... I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you. Need new pair of shoes. There's no room for the week. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry if you had to see that at home. That was very disturbing. Something needs done about this. We, we need to go talk to somebody. You, come on. Sir, your guards are killing homeless men in the streets. Why? Uh, I couldn't tell you. But, but why kill the citizens? Who's, why kill the citizens? We leave the thinking to McConaughey. McConaughey! McConaughey!
That's a big bull. I think that's old Cyrus. 1,800 pounds and do whatever the heck I want. I can respect that. Take a long way. Thank you, Cyrus. Huh. What's this? Guys, look look what I found. Reading, huh? Don't you know that's illegal? Come with me. I like this book so much. Why don't you burn it? So, today's the big day. We're here for the interview. I was blindfolded and driven to some undisclosed location. Uh, they said he's gonna be here sometime in the next two to eight hours. I've been waiting here for four hours, but I, trust me, this is going to be worth it. We are going to talk to one of the most brutal dictators of all time. I'm ready. Matthew McConaughey, nice to meet you. No, call me Matthew. Okay, now Matt. I said Matthew. All right, let's get the introduction. Now, in America, we've heard that your country mistreats its people. Whoa, 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 let's not go throwing the people right around. I call them workers. Matthew, these people think of you as their god. Where would they get an idea like that? Well, I tell them what to do. I give them their ideas. Well, well, haven't they realized that you're just a man? Don't they read books and learn things? In our country, books are legal. Learning gets in the way of work. And that's the worker's purpose, is to work. Learning is illegal? Don't you want an educated public? No, an educated public is not an obedient public. But why all the control? Why not let the people decide for themselves? If people decide for themselves, It'll side against me. So you're aware that all of this is wrong and cruel and violates basic human rights and dignities? I know that. But whatever keeps me in power, keeps me in power. So this is it? This is it for your people? This is all they'll ever be? All they'll never know? <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's kind of it. So you're fine with your people thinking they're living in paradise while they're really living in hell? It sounds a bit like a dystopia to me, sir. Well, yeah, I guess you can call us a dystopian society. This isn't McConnell land. This is McConnell madness. Well, folks, we've seen some harrowing images today. We learned about this isolated country we knew so little about before. All the rumors that you see in the news and here on TV, they're all true. We know now. Millions of people are starving, dying, working their entire lives for a man they think is their God. And these aren't just rumors anymore. This is all laid out for everyone to see by Matthew McConaughey himself. So I think we all need to step back as a world. 
take a look at ourselves. It's time. Something is done. Now is the time to free those people. I'm Gil Faison. Good night, America. Because there's a spark in you, but you just got to ignite. Oh.